It is EVX with Stoic here, episode 28, game 4. I am Stoic Nuvo. You're supposed to say my name. What the heck? And yeah, I am Stoic Regret. You messed that up. Nope, I didn't I'm mess it up. I'm not even going to introduce Julia maybe Child. I, maybe I did it on purpose. Mm. Alright, well, last game is going to suck, but does feature Widow Mines and how easy it is to deal with them. ZVT against Space right. Whales, right? Yeah. Okay. 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 Let's so, go. This is. Yeah. What fucking song is this? Where is my mind by the Pixies? Very good song. Watch Fight Club, by the way. It comes on at the end. Fucking awesome movie. Yeah. Without further ado, I'm ready when you are. All right. Three, two, one. Commence. Nice, Sean. We're syncing well today. Yeah, we are. Our sync is just flawless. It is. It's almost as if we're both in the same replay lobby. What's that? Mm hmm. Fantastic feature. I'm gonna put myself on busy. Fantastic. No, nope, no, nope. that won't be a problem because there's no friends that I have. <laughs> uh, that's kind of sad. I'm gonna be playing some ladder games tonight, so um, maybe I'll keep my webcam on and record me destroying my keyboard. <laughs> Which will eventually give it, happen. Give it 20 games first. Oh, where do you see my losing streak? It's going to be intense. 20 games. I've been playing like, a lot of campaign, which I'm um, like, my win streak in the campaign is really high. Yeah, you've raped that computer. Oh, wait, are we allowed to use that word on stream? Yeah, you can say rape. All right. Rape, faggot. I'm not offended by it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're you still always 15 hatch here, right? I mean, some people have been... What's your what thoughts on a proxy reaper? My, my my real question here. I don't know. Reapers kind of suck. They take too long to kill a unit. I don't know. <laughs> All the youth, new things that people have been in the forum saying is really strong. I just don't understand why they're really strong. Yeah, it's six hits from a Reaper to kill a drone. So if you get three Reapers, you can two-shot one drone. But that's, I mean, that's... I don't know. Yeah, big deal. Just takes a little bit more early game micro, which isn't hard to learn because you play a lot of early game. Every time you play, you're getting a little bit more practice. Wow, that is some philosophical shit, Sean. Yeah. That's, that's good. I like how you did that. It's impressive. So what's with the gas? Huh? Yeah, just doing some... I, I like going gas versus most Terrans now. I think that would be the way to go, just because so, most Terrans open up gas themselves. And even in Wings of Liberty, gas openings are better against gas openings. So mm -hmm. getting that speed is great. So you're just trying to get ling speed and you pull it off because you get it at 17? Yeah, I do like pulling off. Unless he goes command center first, then maybe I'll just plot down the third right away. But Okay, so um, if you went uh, 27 gas here instead of 17, would you just leave him on the whole time? That's just kind of a question I've always wondered. Yeah, but... But on 17, you, you want to pull off because you got to get that econ rolling. Yeah, and you wouldn't, um, it's not that good to get it in 27, you may as well just double gas at 44, because speed is going to be so late anyways, there's nothing, there's no in-between attack that it's going to be useful against, especially because mostly if it is a designated in-between attack, you're going to have to need, you usually need more than just lings anyways, so. Double but yeah, gas anyways, at 40. what I'm going to do this, I remember, yeah. this is the game where I go roach openings, because I like to fuck around, so. This is going to be, oh yeah, th th I remember the point of this VOD, it's to tell you, Remember the old DRG builds where you used to go like 12 roach push and then you can go into whatever? Yeah, don't do that anymore. My god, Widow Mines raped the shit out of that, like, intensely. Oh. Yeah, really badly. So, the so I learned that this game. So this is another what not to do VOD? <laughs> yeah. That probably <laughs> works anyway, but... <laughs> oh, yeah, I just yeah. realized. Yeah, don't don't open roaches. I forgot to press escape so that or... you could see, I could, we could see what you're selecting. Let's do a quick APM check. Oh my god, you fucking asshole. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. 459 is retarded. This is nothing. Wait until I like play for more than a week. Maybe Your EPM like is only 116. That is so low. That's so noob. Mine's probably like 10. Between 10 and 20. That's that's really hard to pull off. I think you need more than that to beat the campaign. <laughs> no, no, no. My campaign skills are second to none. I beat it on Brutal first try. Oh, wow. And then the achievements were off, so I had to go fucking redo it because I wanted to get achievements. And then I got bored of getting achievements, so now I'm like 63% on the achievements. Yeah. I just watched the cinematics on YouTube. 
Which were awesome. I agree yeah, with you. So awesome. You and I experienced the same thing, and it took me 40 minutes, and it took you way longer. Yeah, but I have the achievements. If you don't. It's the gayest thing. Oh, yeah, speaking of gay, please don't fucking... You know how they have unit mod models for certain levels? Please don't do that. It is the most annoying shit ever to play against. And Oh, I agree. I don't want, the skins... I don't want no bullshit like, well, it's an advantage for me. To... Yeah, shut the fuck up. It's a strategy game. Don't do it, asshole. Okay, the, the skins are annoying. Like They're just uh, they're ugly, especially the Especially the Zergling one, when you're trying to play Zergling versus Zergling, and his Zerglings look bigger. Like, you really Are you that pathetic at life that you have to fucking use a stupid advantage in order to try to win a game because you want you like being annoying you fucking asshole okay anyways i was just raging because hopefully this will go far and people will just remember my voice when it ever happens and just not do it Man, anyways you're getting here comes the roach attack look at that it's it's being stopped by widow mines alone this is ridiculous i think i get stim though <laughs> yeah i do get stim Sick. which sucks for him but it's not going to really matter because I'm following this up with Matt's, uh, mass speedlings anyways because I don't have any gas. So if he's going to attack me, he would just lose the units. But yeah. So you don't Matt. think this attack was successful? No. You remember what this used to do in Wings of Liberty? I did I this do. against the uh, 4GG ones and I killed like, I think, 12 workers or something. <laughs> I don't know how to bring up the units lost. I don't know. V, C, no. Nope. H, J, K, L, no. P, O. Oh, I've lost the game. <laughs> Whoops. No, EPM is control V. Oh, it's. Oh, no, it's not you. It's that. Control A is it's army lost. supply. Control. Maybe worker is lost. Units killed. Oh, there it is. Seven. Control R. There we go. Anyways, so yeah, I'm going into mutas because mutas are really strong. That's and as you can see, this just learn from this game the basics. This is a game of resources, so I am obviously going into Mutalisk, so uh, I will not try to deposit anything into gas up until that point. And that's why, even though I went roaches initially, I am going nothing but links now, because I want to pull up that gas supply as much as I can. And I yeah. think uh, these Widow Mines are, are opening the door for players with really high ability in micro. You can yeah. see, I mean, you see the way life kind of runs in with all of his lings and then leaves two up there and activates the Widow Mines and just keeps running in. It's fucking sick to watch. Yeah, but the problem is they, you can't really micro the Widow Mines back, so that's why I think... Uh, you can't micro Widow Mines, no. Widow Mines are kind of useless, but the Medivac boost is awesome. But they so. make you do more, they, and they give you a little bit more map control, too. Yeah, kind of. You'll see in this game against, you know, not a pro player, but just an average player. You can take adva you can take advantage of it so much because they don't really think when they place their window mines. They just kind of use the unit. And, yeah, with just a little bit of APM, it's pretty easy to make the window mines pretty useless. So, Anyways, yeah, I ran those two links into his base because I wanted to know the placement of the window mines. Uh, I'm obviously not super good at Heart of the Swarm yet, but, you know, the game hasn't changed. Just use basic concepts. I know what the units do, so I can just use my logic and deal with it. So I'm just getting my mutas out, trying to saturate this third base. So gas deposit is mutas, and mineral deposit is drones. Make sure you always think of the game in terms of resources. Cannot stress that enough. And yeah, mutalist speed. Time for some fun. Oh, yeah. I think I want to see players just start placing random widow mines around the map. Yeah, everywhere. but they are pretty expensive. You don't want to actually lose them. <laughs> yeah, I just think it'd be awesome. That might be a way to come back if you're really behind after going. Yeah, I guess it's it's kind of the same concept of what bailing drops used to be like, but bailing drops ended up being pretty useless near the end of Wings of Liberty against pro players. So. I think I lose that muta, by the way, the one that's attacking the Viking. That one's pretty sad. I just All assumed your mutas that the are going back. Yeah, yeah. You did lose it. I thought it was more overpowered than it was. Apparently not. So well, the <laughs> damage didn't change. Can. In this. Well, I, I assume that the regen. I don't know. Who cares. Yeah, I know you. I know what you thought, David. You fucking thought wrong. <laughs> All right, muta harass. So just keep in mind when mines are there. The harass is the same. Don't be afraid of Widow Mines. Just learn how to deal with them. Send a Muta in first. Blah, blah, blah. And then once they all go off, you have this huge time window where he has absolutely nothing. It's great. 
But yeah, I don't think I'm going to go in here because I do see that he does have units sitting there. Uh, Spaceball is not playing that well. Oh well, whatever. Okay, so it looks... I, Yeah, I was unsure of which base he's going to take, but obviously now I know I see the Flying Fortress of Doom. And uh, I think this game just ends with a little sneaky abuse of the Widow Mines. Uh, this is why you should not place more than two of them in the same location, because if you place more than two of them in the same location and they all fire once, then the player knows that he can go in. And that's not so good. So, so don't you're do just, And they, they kind of get dependent on them. Yeah, so see how I see so many here? So I can just send in one like this and just split. Oh, -ho, that was pretty sick. No, nope, good enough. No, nope, you lost all of those mutas. No, no, no. It's you're, you, It's the follow up, right? See, so I'm keeping in mind the timer. This is what I mean. You can abuse widow mines like this, and I know that they can't go off for a bit. So now I just <laughs> run in. <laughs> See, it's hilarious, widow mines. This is why you sh you should have had maybe two in the back, one in the mineral line, two in the front. Because now, <laughs> you just know. Yeah, the pace is completely fucked. So yeah, Where's just your mainly speed. There it is. You just realize figure you out it. figure out with your own basic knowledge ways you can abuse widow mines and I'm sure you you'll deal with them fine. Oh, oh man, they just killed, yeah, yeah he just killed all of his own shit. Oh yeah, that is what life does by the way. The first batch that he sends, he actually you know logically you want to send like one or two lings so that the widow mines will kill them, but he actually sends like 10, 15, 20 lings. Well, that's because then he, yeah, he, yeah, uses the he splash runs damage. straight yeah he runs straight to the marine so that essentially. The lings are kind of like mini banelings because they will die just like banelings will, but they're cheaper than banelings, so you're okay with losing them. And they have that little mini baneling effect when they do actually collide with the enemy's units. And then after that, you just roll in with everything else. So, yeah. So if this was a little bit more of an experienced player, the game might have gone a little bit longer. But that just gives you the gist of it. So oh. I guess this is more for Terran players. Don't don't club them up your uh, widow mines. Make sure you spread them, or else they will not be effective at all. It'll okay. just be a waste of money. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Sorry for the last two games, guys. I have not, I'm not going to be playing ladder until summer, so... So if you guys see any VODs you want them to do, or you get some good replays of pro players, we can go over those uh, much or easier. Or your own replays. Uh, preferably Masters Plus. We can go over yeah, any of those. send in your replays if you're having trouble. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Peace. See you guys later.